All right, so yeah, we can get started here. I see that people are starting to join. Um, so yeah, once again, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, thanks so much for, for being here with us. Um, just to introduce you a bit and to set the stage, um, we're gonna be looking at a Canadian case study of an, an industry that is doing digital twinning today and doing VR and AR and all these exciting initiatives. Um, our keynote is by uh, Jennifer Bussler. Um, she was the innovation manager at C-SPAN, uh, one of our sponsors today as well. Um, C-SPAN is an industry leader in terms of uh, in shipbuilding in Canada, but also in terms of other major civilian and military naval projects. Um, Jennifer, thanks so much for, the, for joining us today. Thanks for having me and uh, for the opportunity to speak to what we're doing at C-SPAN around uh, how we're integrating digital twin and AR VR technologies into what we're calling digital ships, which is certainly an instance of shipbuilding in transformation. So uh, first I'd like to start off with a quick uh, update on what is C-SPAN Shipyards. So next slide. Uh, so C-SPAN Shipyards has uh, been around for almost hundred years. And uh, we're one of the largest shipbuilding and repair companies on Canada's West Coast. And we have really three facilities. Uh, two of them are located in uh, North Vancouver and they include our Vancouver shipyard where we're doing the majority of our uh, national shipbuilding strategy new build work, as well as the Vancouver dry dock, which is uh, a large uh, facility that deals with the large and complex ship repair uh, solutions. And then over on Vancouver Island, we have the Victoria Shipyards, which is also our center of excellence around uh, ship repair and conversion. Uh, so we've done a variety of uh, investments to both facilities and people that have allowed us to grow and become one of the most modern new construction shipyards in North America. In particular, through our three shipyards, uh, we offer a full life cycle to owners and operators uh, from concept design through construction, launch, commissioning, tests and trials, upgrades, maintenance, repair, and then uh, vessel life cycle uh, extensions. Next slide. Under Canada's national shipbuilding strategy umbrella agreement, C-SPAN is working with the Canadian Coast Guard and the Royal Canadian Navy to build five classes of vessels as part of their fleet renewal programs. The scale and uh, complexity of these build programs has led C-SPAN to explore pathways that uh, drive efficiency in design and build and ultimately delivery of modern vessels that are ready to have a long period of service and deliver on the missions that the Coast Guard and uh, the Navy are looking for. Next slide. So all ships, that in integrating, um, a 3D information and digital information isn't new to shipbuilding. Uh, all new ships are designed in 3D. They do layouts and planning and concept designs. And, and this ultimately forms, if you wanna say, the, the, the foundation or it forms the basis of what we're calling a digital ship. So as we heard from Wolfgang, you know, there's lots of different ways in which you can define what a digital twin is. But in our case, we're really putting together that a digital ship must have multiple attributes. Uh, it should have a physical, uh, should be a representation of the physical asset itself represented into the digital model. It should have a, a look and feel that's uh, like the real asset itself. Ideally, it, it also incorporates uh, uh, visualization technologies and ways to interact with the design information, with the operational information uh, in a way that makes it accessible and usable by uh, different peoples at different skill levels. Uh, it simulates real behavior with varying degrees of facility, uh, of, sorry, of fidelity. Uh, it includes uh, relational interactions between systems. These are very complex uh, system integration programs. And so we need to understand how things work together and not simply the act of overlaying data into a, a, single, uh, into a single piece of equipment or instrument. And then it also should be mirroring reality uh, and that involves connecting, if you want to say that 3D or, or spatial information into uh, relevant data feeds that allows you to take those data feed information and potentially any, any analytics from it and place that within the context of that 3D environment or that physical environment in a virtual environment. Next slide. Within uh, C-SPAN, we've been building out a digital ship system architecture uh, to help both with our new builds as well as with some of our in-service support solutions that we offer through our other uh, through our 
our full free, free range of uh, facilities. So it starts with a uh, data asset uh, platform, uh, looking at bringing in the 3D uh, models and other vessel data that's associated with the actual design, whether it's as designed, as built, or as maintained. Uh, it's also integrating in uh, in-situ monitoring. So that's our IRT, IoT solutions and, and uh, instruments uh, that, that are placed into the vessel or are actually part of systems that are integrated into the vessel at time of build. Uh, and so this thing goes into a data management system. And this does all that heavy lifting around data configuration, uh, processing and storing that information, curating that information, making it accessible, uh, formatting it, making it available into analytics platforms uh, where you're actually doing various data analysis uh, that supports operational monitoring, uh, doing issue detection with individual systems or subsystems, planning or decision support at the vessel level or at the department level uh, for in-service support. And then this integrates with a 3D visualization platform where you start bringing it all together. Uh, so it's that contextual placement of information into a 3D representation. Then that flows into and use of an immersive visualization facility. Uh, so that facilitates these shared and collaborative uh, solutions that use augmented reality as well as virtual reality in order to access and best utilize some of that information that's then contained within this digital, digital representation. 